Charles H. Templeton Sr. Business of Music Museum on the fourth floor of the Mitchell Memorial Library here at Mississippi State University. Here at the Charles Templeton Museum, we have a vast collection of different pieces from across the era of early music machines. We have over 200 pieces in the collection, as well as over 20,000 pieces of sheet music scanned and archived on our library's website, free for anyone to access, and we have a sample of it here that you can see when you come visit the Templeton Museum. This piece is the Victrola 16, which was made around 1921 to 1924. When people think of the Victrola, this is the most prolific, and this is what comes to mind when thinking of such a piece. Something else special about this piece is below was record storage, and these albums actually were sold with the piece. Here we have the Symphonian, and this is a music box, jukebox in essence, from the late 19th century made in Leipzig, Germany. The music box works with a metal perforated disc. This disc has tiny holes that are punched in the metal that as it rotates catches what is called a star mechanism underneath which is what plays the music. There we go. Here we have the Aeolian Orchestrelle, which is made around 1900. Very few pieces of these were made. Only about 20, I believe, are in existence. If you look closely at this paper right here, it has a bunch of holes punched in it, like a perforated metal music box. Each of these holes corresponds to a note on this keyboard. This is from a musical called The Bell of New York, written in 1897. When it first premiered on Broadway in New York, it was not very successful. It only performed about 67 times. But the following year, it went to England, where it performed over 687 times in one year, being the first most successful American show to be taken abroad. The music would have been sold in a box just like this, with the information of what the music is on the side, and then easily stored in this beautiful box.